things are looking on the up and up right now. I know it doesn't seem like it. There are showers and storms, and this is as is usually the case with Florida, especially this time of year. There are a lot of factors that go into play for this launch to happen at Cape Canaveral. So here is a look at what uh, we are expecting for tomorrow morning. Launch time scheduled for 8.33. That is the window that we're dealing with right now. Partly sunny, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Winds out of the east-southeast, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And it will be at around 78 degrees, which is pretty good news there. But here are some of the breakdowns. These are some of the criteria that we just have to be on the lookout for. They will not launch if there is lightning within 10 nautical miles and within 30 minutes of that last strike. So if winds are higher than 30 miles per hour, that is sustained, they will not launch. Also, if the cloud layer is greater than 4,500 feet thick, that will also create some problems. And in terms of temperatures, uh, can't be less than 40 degrees, cannot exceed 95 degrees. So fingers crossed, it looks good, but we'll let you know if anything should change. We are in the 80s across the board, 84, Newburgh 80, New York City 78 in Islip. And we are seeing a little hint of sunshine. I know clouds were dominating because of that stationary front. We had a lot of things going on here. We also had a little bit of a sea breeze. Right now, the sea breeze is not a factor right now. Overnight temperatures, we are in the low 70s, and we are expecting the humidity to continue to build and I tell you what we may even encounter a little bit of fog and that'll be the ongoing thing that we're going to be on the lookout for. Another thing that we're closely monitoring a series of fronts will be coming through this way in the next few days so tomorrow we'll be in the upper 80s and it'll be hot and humid it'll still feel sticky as we head into Tuesday. Tuesday's probably going to be the hottest day with a chance of showers and storms in the morning but mainly later on in the day. We do have a frontal boundary that's going to be sliding through on Wednesday. Interesting Interestingly enough, this one not packing a lot of moisture. There's only a slight chance of a shower or storm, but mainly it's going to be dry, partly sunny conditions, 88 degrees. There will be some 90s in there too, especially if you're in northeastern New Jersey. And uh, as we head into Thursday, pleasant sunshine. We will have a mixture of sun and clouds. It'll feel more comfortable. It'll feel more seasonable. There is another front that's going to sweep across, and it's going to continue to knock those dew point temperatures down so it won't feel as muggy. And as we head into the holiday weekend, so far so good. We still have our eye on the tropics, but right now things are looking good Saturday and Sunday. And it, yes, it's going to be dry. We actually need the rain, but it looks like things are on the up and up if you want to have that barbecue or any other outdoor plans maybe head to the beach. Uh